Are you ready to pray? Psalm 3 and verse 1. 3 and verse 1. Give my people the mic so that we'll pray. 3 and verse 1. It says, O oh Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Psalm 71 and verse 21. We're praying. Someone's destiny is about to change. Read with me. One to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me. How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Are you ready to pray? Shout this from the depth of your heart. Father, Father for your glory, for your glory, increase my greatness. Go ahead and pray. Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. my greatness take away smallness from my destiny in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray my god something is happening to your spirit man i tell you there is an elevation in the spirit an elevation i'm seeing a ladder this is what I'm seeing. An elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing. Changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. 
Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years and I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years. If God cannot restore time, then he is not greater than time. If it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabakaparakatosiata. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory. He says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say, Father, I decree, I declare, divine restoration of opportunities of relationships of resources of men of my joy now open your mouth and pray restoration 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 Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros, Rakata Praskata Vaskabash, Rakata Praskata Palakos, Rakata Prantakapach, Ebrakatos Koto Prekatelis. Cry restoration, cry restoration, cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. 
It's one thing for God to speak, but it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent, but it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins, God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived. Don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day? You see, the way God talks and the way he behaves, he expects his word to have come speedily. Whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation, Jesus looked at the man in John chapter 5 and said, why are you still in this condition? And he said, I have no man. And it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years, another had hemorrhage for 12 years. Why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray. Because there are some of you, you can't wait again till December. No. The Bible said, this is the day. Not this is the week. Not this is the month. There are days, there are weeks, there are months, there are years. Whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality. If your faith is for years, save Johnny. If your faith is for months, save Johnny. He said, give us this day. Give us when? One more time. So God can give men this day. There are times they will say, after five months, on the sixth month of the seventh year, the word of the Lord came. But Jesus himself said, when you pray, remind the Father that it's within his power to give you this day. Give me this, this day. Give me liftings this day. Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He saved you. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him. My God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's got a fulfilled with the promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. John, Joshua 21. 45. Read with me. Ready? One to read. There failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. All came to pass. How many? How many? Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, I declare a speedy manifestation 
of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry i declare speedy manifestations of every prophetic word i declare someone pray i declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Baruska le brega de bes, skopra to varetuska di balas. Speedy manifestation, speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass today. You have spoken. Let it come to pass now. You have spoken. Let it come to pass now. You have spoken. Let it come to pass now. Sapakatos, rakata braskata velakatos. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, my God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure, let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Herein is my Father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah. Ordained you to go and bear fruit, 15, 16, and that your fruit should remain. Let me tell you the truth. Do not downplay results in this life. I know that you are here because you love Jesus, but you are also here because you have seen results. Results at the end of any and every argument. You can argue all you can, but not in the presence of results. Hallelujah. What is a prayer? Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Did you hear what I said? Give evidence. I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father. In this season, give evidence to my Christian experience. Results, genuine results. Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live, my living for you. Sh 
Sabraska Barakatosh, Krataka Barakata Fresca Balakatosh. Pray, pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He said, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Do you know why? He said, lest he dips his hand in iniquity. I've seen people who love God. They are not lazy, but they live their lives begging. They never get to a point where they can live a decent life. No. They beg. Their wives join them begging. Their children join them begging. Their grandchildren join them begging. Their entire lineage lives by begging. Shout no way. One more time, shout no way. Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders. There must be young men. There must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Everyone shout this after me. Say, Father. Father every, curse, every curse. Every enchantment. Every demonic arrangement. Orchestrated. By men. And by spirits. Against my life. And my destiny. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment. Every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health, against my prosperity, by the blood of the eternal covenant. 
be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. As I speak over you, I want you to shake away that lie that the devil has told you you will never rise. I want you to shake away that demonic belief. Just because you came from the village, shake away that demonic belief. Apostle, I've lived a wayward life. I've lived a scattered life. Do not worry. In his presence, there is room for restoration. But I want to pray for you. I want you to receive from the depth of your heart. I stretch my hands towards you and I decree and declare. I call upon the God who helps men. The one who helps men to rise. The one who helps men to thrive. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to command strange results from tonight. Begin to command strange results from tonight. Strange results from tonight. Extraordinary results from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your passion for the things of God. Your passion for the things of the Spirit. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Now hear me. I want you to receive this prayer. I want to pray for you. There are many of you, I'm saying it prophetically. Between now and December, you will stand here to dedicate your own home. I say it by the God who sent me in the name of Jesus Christ. And for some of you, as it is now, you may not even have work to do. But you see, God is ever willing to make his power manifest. I say it again, by his favor, may God start sorting your personal needs. Please hear me. For some of you, while I described the human body, I perhaps call systems that are physically failing in your own body. While it was an analogy to explain the kingdom systems for victory, for some of you, you were just wondering and saying, Apostle is just calling this thing. Anything that has entered your body and has vowed to cut short your life, I command it must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your systems, out of your organs, now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your finances. If you don't need it, you can receive it for someone else. But I want to pray over your finances. There is an advantage we have in addition to our value, our wisdom, relationships. There is the grace of God that engenders favor. You find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. I like how the Bible puts it. It says, and God is able to make all grace, not some grace, all grace are bound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency sufficiency means the capacity to always rise to the occasion never disappointing in all things it says may abound to every good work i decree and declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god for someone here regardless the financial mountains that stand before you i call upon my god who is also your god let things begin to change supernaturally open financial doors 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 in the name of jesus christ 
it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i decree and declare whatever makes resources to go out of your hands whether it's the careless use of them or a demonic manipulation whatever be the case i decree and declare the grace to retain resources receive it now are you ready for favor I will pray this one today as week I will continue to pray till you become a living expression of the favor of God let me pray it for you what is in favor huh. favor has the ability to accelerate your life and your destiny favor has the supernatural ability to bring to end seasons of hardship seasons of all kinds of things most people have not understood the also passing excellency of carrying the genuine grace for favor and i have told you the proof of favor is not money money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor the proof of favor is when god connects you to the hearts of men that you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs. I don't know who that person is, but I'm stretching my hands towards you. That grace, I lay my hands on my own head and I pray by the privilege of the election of grace, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Rest upon you. Rest upon you. This grace called favor, let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you in the city, in the country. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. That you become a living evidence of what God can do with men. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by this impartation of favor, I call forth whoever has been mandated by God to participate in your rising. Whether you know them or not, I declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may they show up in your life. May they show up in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, final prayer whatever has refused to move forward you have moved it by your energy you have moved it intellectually you have outsourced men to move it but it has refused to move i stand by the 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 advantage of the prophetic i move you forward i move you forward make constructive progress in the name of jesus christ let your power Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. The Holy Ghost power rest on me. Let your grace, this grace called favor, rest on me, rest on me. Let your grace, this grace rest on me, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh. Let your power, let your power, the power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, Rest 
on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Father, we give you praise because you are the deliverer, the one who sets us free. There are wicked spirits that have sat on people's lives and destinies masquerading as problems. But in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree by this anointing of the Spirit of God, at the count of three, you're going to shout that name that is above all names the name that has been exalted above thrones and dominions and every name that is named not only in this world but even that which is to come and as you shout that name the fire of the holy spirit will begin to rest upon people and bring deliverances for them of all sorts in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three every demonic spirit that has tied down lives and destinies masquerading as physical problems you must go right now are you ready one two three shout jesus shout jesus let them go release their destinies 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 right now outside inside everywhere i decree and declare release their destinies by the power of the holy ghost please bring them out very quickly release their destinies in the name of jesus christ I tell you fire is falling in this place in the name of Jesus I decree and declare we are still praying every family that is under demonic siege kept in one place no movement no progress right now the anointing of the spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families are you ready to shout Jesus again Lord every family under attack we bring the spirits behind it under arrest at the count of three one two three shout Jesus release the families now release the families now release the families now release the destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ open your mouth and begin to declare your release open your mouth and begin to declare by the blood of the eternal covenant i declare liberty for my life liberty for my family liberty Liberty, liberty, liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and He's saying, Remove the mark of disfavor. There are many physically, there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a mark of disfavor around you that even when you go where you should be blessed, it looks like you are despised. I don't know who I'm praying for, but fire is coming on someone now. In the name of Apakatos Katapata, every mark of disfavor at the count of three, that mark must let you go now. One, two, three. Let it go, let it go. Let it go. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. Be removed from your life be removed from your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus carry out this favor marital disfavor financial disfavor be removed from your life hallelujah you see let me tell you the truth look up please this favor 
is a very terrible thing when a man does not carry the favor of god in his life you're not going to be able to make progress the number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of god favor with god and favor with men i still want to pray that prayer don't be tired because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives there are many people it should not be so no your life can't be indefinitely tied down nobody thinking about you to help you nobody calling for your help i say it again what is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you by the power of the holy ghost i clear it out of your life right now i clear it out of your life right now i clear it out of your destiny right now hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of rejection the spirit of rejection that is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone be delivered from it now 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 it's a miracle service whatever is making people reject you i'm saying it again in the name of jesus let it be destroyed from your life rejecting you in office rejecting you everywhere in the name of jesus be free from it right now <laughs> hallelujah now hear me please pay attention I don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead seeing them in your dreams can i tell you in most cases all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing it doesn't mean every dead face of course there are spirits of just men made perfect but it is the devil in most cases masquerading to reinitiate the process of untimely death let me pray for a family here or a destiny that is under siege you have been having dreams of dead people calling you you have no business listen the living and the dead have nothing in common i pray for you by the fire that is of the holy ghost oh death oh death oh death oh death, oh death. release the families now release god's people now oh grave take your hands away from their destinies take your hands away from their families take your hands away you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die in the name of jesus christ declare by the power of the holy spirit the spirits that oppress you i command them to leave you now I command them to leave you now I bring you liberty by the power of the blood of Jesus there is a family here God is bringing deliverance particularly to the ladies there is a spirit that never allowed the ladies i'm seeing the ladies to move forward even when they settle down they must return back to their husband's homes i don't know who that is but in the name of jesus the lord is telling me the ladies it is like the the the, the female part of the family i command that spirit because you came here tonight i don't care how long that covenant has stayed it is hereby broken now broken now broken now Please help them at the back. Broken now. <laughs> I 
hallelujah broken by the power of the holy spirit release them now and then the spirit that makes women the men in a in a family and turns the men is like it reverses it when it has to do with responsibility and provision the wife is the husband and then the husband is just a figurehead there i decree and declare that demonic anomaly we exchange it back to its proper place we exchange it back to its proper place hear me hear me any man here that is not able to cater for your family by the anointing of the spirit i empower your hand to be productive i empower your hand to be productive the honor and the dignity that comes with being a man let it speak in your life and i pray for every woman here that you have been carrying an extra luggage that you have no business carrying based on God's order in the name of Jesus for your sake may God empower your husband for your sake may God empower the men in your life hallelujah I'm about to pray for the sick but I'm seeing someone what we call skin disease you have some serious I don't know what it is that is affecting your skin quite an embarrassing condition the Lord Jesus Christ I'm going to be praying for the sick right now I believe in the healing ministry in the name of Jesus look at me I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit where those who have gone ahead of you where they could not reach in the name of Jesus, I place an anointing upon you. You will get there and surpass it by the Spirit. You will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. I say it again. You will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Listen, provided you are under this grace, you must rise. In the name of Jesus Christ. By all means, you must rise. Let's pray for the sick. diseases I want to start my prayer by praying for those with hepatitis listen there is a reason why sometimes God puts these names it's not just a story to mention and make it look serious I, I honestly have not studied the consequences of hepatitis I don't know what it really does I just know it's not a good thing and that is more than enough to cast it out of anybody who has it listen place your hand where you are trusting God for healing those of you who came with sick people now is the time to reach out to them and those who are connecting for the sick or you are sick yourself I'm about to pray for you I believe in the healing power of Jesus I tell you there is such a strong healing anointing why do we pray for the sick i have taught you that sickness is a portion of death being ministered to you because there is a threshold level of health your body must have for your spirit to remain in it and if your body becomes deteriorated beyond that threshold point your spirit will be forced to live in what you call death now it is not the living of the spirit that is a problem but when you are done with your assignment and it lives with honor and nobility that is fine we call it a good old age but where the devil wants to bring it as a strategy to end your life because you see if you do not have a functional body your spirit has no legitimate ground to remain in the earth for you to be able to dwell in the earth legitimately you must be a spirit and you must have a healthy functional body so every time the Lord ministers to the sick, it is his determination to keep you in health and to promote longevity in your life. Don't tolerate any sickness in your body. We thank God for all our doctors, our medical team. We have a brilliant medical team that is, is doing well, you know. And I have taught you again that doctors and medical people are not anti-faith. 
we have taught for many years that you either choose doctors or choose the power of God. No, no. Even Jesus is called the great physician, not only the great healer, the great physician. So I'm going to pray for you now. When I pray for you, here's your own part of the, your own part of the faith equation. You believe and you receive by faith. Then when I tell you to, you check yourself. You do what you couldn't do. So let your hearts be open. Do not allow yourself to return back with terminal diseases, demonic illnesses. You hear the story of the mama that was brought here? Just her eyes began to swell and all kinds of satanic things. Lay your hands and let's trust God for healing. Jesus the healer. It is true that he heals. I know you are here. Healing in your glory. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. I know you are here. You are here to take us higher. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, you gave us the ability to pray for the sick. And you said that as we minister to them, they will recover. There are many people right now who have all kinds of terminal diseases, demonic conditions. In the name of Jesus, the one who sent us, I declare that every spirit of infirmity that is behind any health condition, right now let that spirit be gone forever. Mm. Right now let that spirit be gone forever. Let that spirit be gone forever. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare right now, every sick body from the crown of your head down to the, ah, my God. As I just said from the crown of your head, I just felt a surge of power, just a strong healing anointing going through someone's body, bringing cleansing 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 of every demonic thing right now be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name hepatitis in the name of jesus be healed of it now hiv be healed now be healed now I'm hearing in my spirit hormonal imbalance I don't know who has that condition but the power of God is touching you right now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus hormonal imbalance be healed now deaf ears whether total deafness or partial deafness be opened in the name of Jesus blind eyes be opened now in the name of Jesus anybody here who could not walk you came and you could not walk using an aid in the name of Jesus I empower your limbs begin to walk now in the mighty name of Jesus kidney problems I'm hearing in the spirit help them kidney problems be healed right now there's someone you had something that looked like a lymph node ar around your your lower abdominal area and it refused to go in the name of Jesus I command that growth let it disappear now I'm seeing in a vision somebody's tongue I don't know if it's that the tongue is cracked. This is what I'm seeing. It's like the tongue is, you know how it's like you're shredding something. I don't know what condition that is. But in the name of Jesus, I bring you life and healing right now. <laughs> Severe bleeding. It comes to an end now. I'm 
hearing cancer of the rectum i'm not a doctor whether you are here or following online cancer is like cancer of the rectum this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus i use this and any other variation of cancer we command those cancer cells in the body of any of his victim to begin to die now <laughs> to begin to die now <laughs> hallelujah there's someone you have a boil inside your armpit not around inside your armpit an uncomfortable boil i don't know if you've taken any medical steps but the lord is telling me he's bringing you healing right now he's bringing you healing right now i'm hearing a word in my spirit clogged arteries clogged arteries in the name of jesus christ i'm going to meet the doctors one time to teach me all these things so that when i'm saying it i understand what i'm saying clogged arteries I, but i believe that that it's a very step whatever clogs any part of your body for whatever reason is already sentencing you to death you know that one in the name of jesus i command clogged arteries be open now in fact god is showing me someone um your heart your heart is not fully functional it's affecting your breathing I don't know what that condition is now but it's a serious some sort of cardiovascular condition i stretch my hands now every part that has been blocked or clogged i command it to be open now i command it to be open now hallelujah i'm hearing something very interesting the lord is telling me i don't know why he's not telling me the nation but he's saying we should pray for a particular african nation so that there would not be a resurgence of covid a particular african nation in the name of jesus i know we are praying for the sick but since the word has come we pray particularly for the nations of africa we already drove that demonic spirit out of this continent we close the doors of the continent again in the name of jesus there will not be a resurgence of any any news of covid in africa again in the name of jesus gastritis the lord is healing someone of gastritis by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit there's someone i'm seeing you are bleeding severely from your nose and your mouth severely from your nose i'm just looking at a vision i'm seeing blood just coming out in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but i curse that spirit right now in jesus name I once prayed over this condition that God is showing me and I'm seeing that God is showing me again somebody you it's like you regurgitate food when you eat you literally regurgitate it out again to eat it I don't know who that person is Holy Spirit thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Allah Shabra Sadi Salatia. Hallelujah. Satan, in the name of Jesus, if it was not so in the beginning, then we decree and declare i don't know what the medical condition is where people regurgitate food out again but i know that it is a wicked demonic and uncomfortable condition i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i declare be healed now 
I release the power of the Holy Spirit now, 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 now. Be healed now. That condition stops now. I set you free. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus. Someone, the nails, the nails on your feet are rottening. I'm sorry to use that expression, but it's already squeezing like a, what they call it now. Is it an athlete's feet or something like that? The nails, the nails on your feet are beginning to rot in. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now. And the Lord is also asking me to pray for someone because with what I see, your teeth, your entire, you know, your teeth is getting weak, weak and weak and is something that is eating up your gums or something affecting you. In fact, you are suffering from very intense like um, mouth odor. It's not like you're a careless person, but this is a serious dental problem and you need help. You need the power of God. I decree and declare over you be healed right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus who died and rose again, for you and for those who you are lifting up in prayer, that also includes those who are fallen from hospitals. You can't believe how many hospitals in this nation and across the world air these miracle services over their patients as a commitment. There are people right now on sick beds, you know, whose family members are just connecting by faith. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Lump in the right breast, I command it to disappear now. For someone, I don't know what surgery you had on your legs. But it's like something went wrong. This is what I'm seeing. I'm declaring that whatever went wrong with that surgery, let it be corrected right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout it with faith. Say in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The of the Holy Spirit. Supernatural restoration. Of time, of time and of things, and of things. Over, my over my life right now Amen. open your mouth and begin to pray supernatural restoration of time supernatural restoration of things is someone praying those for testimonies begin to march forward supernatural restoration of time of things supernatural restoration someone is praying this prayer will work wonders in the life of many people restoration oh, your lifting has come oh, oh, oh. your lifting has come oh, in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray are you ready for the second prayer point say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost every word assigned to announce me everyone assigned to help me 
everyone assigned to help me find visibility I command their ministries now open your mouth and pray it takes men used by God to help men rise someone is praying everyone assigned by the Spirit of the Living God for my rising for my visibility Assign for my rising. If you are Joseph, pray over Pharaoh that Pharaoh will be used by God for your rising. If you are Daniel, pray for Nebuchadnezzar to be used by God for your rising. Is someone praying? Where are the helpers? Joseph's of Arimathea, Simeon's of Cyrene, the Naomi's, In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said, tell the people that they go forward. I taught you last week that progress is not just moving around. Your last step or your next step must be ahead of your last step for it to be called progress. If your next step is equal to your last step, that is not progress. There is motion, there is movement, but it is not progress. Hallelujah. Someone is going to prophesy that the step you take next must be higher than the one you are taking now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Every step I take will be a step higher than the previous one. Spiritually, financially, and in every other aspect of my life. Open your mouth and pray. No marking time. No marking time. No marking time. Constructive advancement. Progress by the Spirit and in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have you seen a woman going to give birth and she's interested in her makeup? That just when the child is about to come and say, sorry, I, I, I just need to make sure that, you know, this one is in place. Can I have a last look at myself? Huh? Have you seen that happen? There is a desperation. The woman with the issue of blood said, this is not the issue of shame. I'm tired of this nonsense. I will cry it. I will touch the head of his garment. Let me be punished later, but for now. There are some of you who are not yet angry enough. Sincerely, I'm telling you. You are still organized. He's saying, well, the poverty situation is not so bad. At least we can borrow money. Now you are owing more than 10 million. It started from 10,000 Naira. And the devil is an expert in growing it. Before you know it, you see that your whole destiny has been given to the company you are owing. Is that not what happened to the wife of the sons of the prophet? Remember, you think that she started by, they were going to take her children as collateral. Your children there does not just represent your physical child. Whatever it is that can make for continuity of your destiny. Satan can use things around your life and force you to carry your future and pay for today with it. I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you so that when it's time to pray and it's time to receive, you will do what Jabez did. Tonight is not just to shout amen. My job is to release grace with you and stand in faith with you. But you have a responsibility for God's sake to pray in holy anger. Someone can be a very intelligent person. He goes to bed and the devil just uses your face. You come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person. 
the person stands up and says oh so this is my enemy you go to the office the next day good afternoon sir you are leaving this job now what did i do no before you kill me i will kill you both of you are innocent there is a spirit joining this thing has happened even between husband and wife have you seen it happen that a man will go to sleep a wicked spirit will use the face of the wife and the man gets up and says, no no way not in this house and the devil is just standing stealing killing destroying in the name of jesus tonight by the power that raised jesus from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances to abort the glory of God in your life goes down this night. Goes down this night. Goes down this night. The same way the Lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you and the person is thirsty and you are bringing water the person gets up in the morning and says you you got a job in this company when two weeks ago come you are promoted to my PA what happened I had a dream oh, and I saw you giving me water and in my mind I interpret it to mean you're a good person ah life I don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of Jesus I came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of Christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost someone is praying every mysterious sickness roaming around my body i curse you by the god of heaven spirit of death i call you by your name and i banish you from my life banish you from my family banish you from my business someone is praying Shade kako shata balakos krapa kata katos kata frate ketesh krante geberekos kata prande gebalakos yata. Hallelujah. 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 Now I'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that Jabez prayed. Number one, it says, "Oh, that thou wouldest bless me." As I mentioned them, I will lead you to pray. This is a miracle service. I want you to participate. If you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you, that is, you, you can do that. But by all means, any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that by mercy, let your blessing rest upon me let your blessing rest upon me rest upon my family open your mouth and begin to pray the blessing of the lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the lord that causes a man to prevail oh that thou wouldest bless me bless me bless me i activate the blessing upon my life i activate the blessing i decree and declare blessed in the city blessed in the country blessed in abuja blessed in lagos blessed in the united kingdom blessed in south africa blessed in the united states in the name of jesus man of god pray
pray the blessing of the Lord pray it upon your spirit pray it upon your children now pray it upon the works of your hands blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the country blessed shall be your needing trough go ahead and pray outside make sure you are praying all the overflows make sure you are praying in the name of jesus the blessing is upon me 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 speaking loud and clear speaking loud and clear speaking louder than any curse speaking that louder than any demonic thing You are praying. Shate ke pakato safras kata bakata. Kapra te ke parako shagates. The blessing is upon me. Prospering the works of my hands. The blessing is upon me. Manifesting as signs and wonders. The blessing is upon me. Turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder. The blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shaleke pekatos kata frende ke parusiata. Embra kato kapres kata pekatos. Sobanto shodo balekatos. Ibra to seveze kete belekatos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this do you know what allowed the flood to come what allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come so when the flood was over watch this now when the flood was over the flood of noah now remember everything and everyone except noah his wife the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark am i right on that these were the only things that were alive you find that noah came out and then noah reared an altar you find that in genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22 he, he carried some of the animals that were left some of the animals came two by two some of the animals came seven by seven you will see that even some that were left noah still slaughtered them and they died but watch what happened when god wanted the earth to increase again give us genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. i want to show you the power of the blessing what did god do to noah same thing he did to adam you see and god blessed noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful does that sound like something he had said before multiply that means every time god sees small things what he does to increase them is to make this same thing keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer that means in god's mind what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful what it means to be blessed is to multiply what it means to be blessed is to replenish you are not blessed in god's mind until he sees fruitfulness until he sees multiplication until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue this is god's idea every time you hear him speaking a blessing he will break it down and say this is my idea of being blessed be fruitful multiply and replenish the earth are you ready to pray we are still praying the blessing prayer say father as a result of the blessing that is upon me i speak to my destiny be fruitful multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray i am blessed blessed to be fruitful 
blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life by the Spirit of God and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons you can call the name of your children you can call the name of every company everyone who is under your care declare upon them be fruitful multiply be fruitful multiply replenish 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 Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. I'm telling you something is shifting in your life. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. You want to understand this? Let's go to Isaiah 54 from verse 1 and 3. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. He said, For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Verse 2. It says, Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thy habitation. Spare not and lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes. Why? Verse 3. Hallelujah. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Look at me. Do you know what it means to be enlarged? To be enlarged means to grow. That's how we grow. Is that true? We grow through enlargement. There are people who, respectfully speaking, I got to find out a few cases where some people remain children even in their, as adults. You still see them like children, like babies. It's a medical condition that people remain literally. You look at them, their face, nothing changes. There is no growth. There is no enlargement. Yet some of them are 25, 30 years and they are still, they have the voice of children, everything around them. And when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth. The level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same. The level of favor is still the same. Did the Bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied? Are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement? That Father, I'm tired of being at this level for a long time. Enlarge me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritually. This level of my prayer life, this level of my word study life, someone is praying, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me in ministry. Enlarge me. Shapakato parakato shafrakates. Krasagata farasko sebelekos. Embrakato shafrandes kalebash. Krateke belegete sefraska tibalakos yata. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge coin on here. Enlarge coin on here. Enlarge my spiritual life. Enlarge every aspect of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Sabrekete peketoska frate ke parusiata. Kaprekete peleko sate fraskete peledusiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Don't be tired, you'll soon sit down. But listen, please look at me. What is the difference between a one room and a duplex? What is the difference? Space. Am I right on that? What is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion, as you call it? Space. What you can do in a one room, what you cannot do in a one room, you are able to do it in a duplex. Am I right on that? Now, just respectfully speaking, if you have one room, everything is there. The kitchen is there. The whatever is there. Are we together? Smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint. It does not give you the opportunity to be efficient. Are we together now? So, imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom now you can convert one maybe to be a library one to be a guest room have you seen people now respectfully speaking have you seen for instance say a couple a husband and a wife and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that Solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you enlargement is a blessing what 10,000 cannot do 1 million can do are we together now yes oh my man needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000 and that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000. But when God enlarges you, you have more space. You can even be a blessing. What this level of anointing can do, cannot do. This level of anointing can do. Are we together now? Yes. This level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members. Not to insult, but that is what it can do. It cannot bring you a global ministry this way. No no you cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry can that work but they are all tires so when you bring that small tire how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time it's only sufficient to take you to the mechanic You see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires and sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole those cars can come and pass as if they are not even aware that's what enlargement does when you are limited when you are constrained five children you are living on 50,000 it's not a blessing oh let me tell you the truth not in our world today you are anointed you pray you have to pray for one week for headache to go you can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way i told you people don't follow men they follow results when you are a man that commands that result it will look like they are following you but what they really follow are results it takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by god for people to look beyond results and now start following men enlarge my coast enlarge my I've prayed this prayer many times this ministry did not start like this and this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there so why is it that your life is remaining that way one more time I want you to refuse look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it open your mouth and pray one last time father enlarge me by the spirit of the living God enlarge me by the spirit of the living God for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name Please pray.
Hallelujah. Number three, let your hand be with me. Hallelujah. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. You are going to pray. This is what is responsible for advancement. This is what is responsible for speed. When the hand of the Lord comes upon men, they refuse to stay not just at that level but even in that location it is god that moves men when you find stagnancy what you need is the hand of god the hand of god moves men the bible says it was the lord that caused moses to advance say father one more time say father in the name of jesus by your hand advance me by your hand advance my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray by your hand by your hand by your hand advance me in ministry by your hand advance me in every area of life someone is praying advance me advance me by your spirit hallelujah 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 and with the last prayer point it will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can fire is going to begin to fall in this place now give us the last prayer point keep me from evil listen the psalmist said he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty is that true verse 2 says give us verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be and thy buckler verse 5 it says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor the arrow that flyeth by day verse 6 nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor the destruction that wasted at noonday seven a thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand by thy right side but it shall not come nigh thee last verse only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked listen do you know what it means for god to keep you to keep you means lord i will not die before my time Amen. hallelujah i was listening to a video this morning by late archbishop benson idahosa and he was teaching somewhere in the states and he was just sharing how that when god gave him an instruction in benin then and he went and he was praying and praying and god gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say benin belongs to jesus and he said he prayed it the spirit of fear came what if you would die he said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can i tell you saying i do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here you have to understand the warfare dimension of life are we together now i'm saying this because many of you do not know you are a man of god here yeah, i want you to listen daily daily there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that i will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily 
but they will continue to boil it as dinner lunch supper it will, it will have no effect not because listen not because we are powerful on our own we have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name that there is immunity in that blood are you ready to pray now say father by the blood of jesus the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying me to failure to death to weakness to defeat right now by the blood let it be broken open your mouth and pray every covenant every covenant tying me to death witchcraft defeat yokes ordinances no matter how long be broken no matter how long be broken no matter how long be broken every covenant that says people will not rise that says people will not shine hallelujah hallelujah Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown. Oh, glorious God, say, oh, glorious God, we praise your name, we lay our and worship God. Oh, glorious God, say, oh, glorious God, we praise in the name of jesus christ everyone who has had a planting in their life or their family that needs to be uprooted my god i'm seeing fire in this place in the name of jesus right now let it be uprooted bring them out whether you are an usher or not please help them if anyone is under the anointing close to you just bring them out so that we'll save time bring them out this is an instruction that the holy ghost gave you will never stand i'm telling you if this, if there is if there is something to be uprooted there is an energy a, a force from heaven please bring them men and women my Bible says every tree that has not been planted by God, that tree will be uprooted. That's what God is doing right now. Uprooting by the Spirit of God. Uprooting by the Spirit of God. You will marvel at the testimonies that follow. Uprooting things. Look at the wonder-working power of Jesus. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. 
and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands bring them out Hallelujah. Now, something mysterious is going to happen here now. There are people, watch this. I just saw fire through the congregation. Please help them. There are people who will start running. This is not speed. This is, this is a deliverance. But they will start running. Hold them and bring them to the front. This is not speed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers Eva Shabbat Oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.